hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Well, today we are continuing our series on how to deal with if you are a woman and how you're dealing and coping with um, dating a chilling type dude, uh, married to a chilling type dude, that's where we are today. So part one was why do women fall in love with a dude who has um, chilling type qualities? How to get rid of, part two was how to get rid of a dude who has chilling type qualities and I gave you three ways to get rid of him. This is part three and this is for the women who have married a chilling type dude. Now this was a request from a um, subscriber in the comments. So what can you do if you have married a dude who is basically chilling, little to no ambition, you rising to the top, you're grinding as his partner, you're married now, maybe you have children, what do you do now that you're in this situation? And this man has very little to no ambition. He's good to you, he's good to the kids, he's nice, he's cool, but and however, He's showing very little ambition in the marriage and in the relationship. What can you do? Well, I know in psychology, we like to be prevent people from getting in situations like this. So it's like if you're already pregnant and then you go to talk to somebody about, oh my God, I can't believe I'm pregnant. You know, we want people to come in before a situation like that happens. So we can talk to you about condoms, um, abstinence, making sure you love the person. So to prevent a, a, a life-changing event. But sometimes you get people who've already made a choice. Now they have to live with it. How do they live with it? How do they, how do they move forward? How do they be happy? All of that stuff. So this is how I think that you can move forward. I think that you have to communicate. You need to communicate with this guy, this chilling dude. You have to say, look, I know you can do better. I want you to do better. I'm growing. I need you to step it up and grow too. So you got to give somebody a chance to make a change. Can you, can you give someone ambition? I think we talked about that before. I think ambition has to be from within. So you can't give him ambition. He needs to want to be ambitious. And so, you know, maybe you can try um, counseling. You know, maybe you can have your pastor talk to him. Maybe you can talk, tell his mama. You know, give an effort in, in, in expressing how you feel to him. <clears throat> and and to people that are important to him. Maybe he'll listen to them. Um, now you can do this for, you know, decades. Or you can say, you know what? I'm moving forward. These are the goals I have in my life. You're not, you know, apparently you, you're you not with it. You're, you know, stuck in doing whatever you're doing. It's not working for me. We're we going to need to part ways. Of course, that might, that's going to probably hurt your children. So for a lot of women, they end up in this situation and they don't want to hurt their kids because he is a good guy. Um, you know, maybe he's a, you know, a good babysitter too because you know he's chilling most of the time so you probably ain't got to pay for child care because he's there. So it's a lot of variables to this. But if you are married to him, I would say seek counseling you know, before you make a big move, um, seek counseling, talk to him, talk to other people that you guys trust, and, and just see where you can where you can get with this. Um, but I would say, you know, 
to, to women that I mentor and young girls, young ladies, I try to prevent this, pre prevent them from even being in that situation long term. But if you're already in it, it ain't like you got to be stuck for the rest of your life. You really don't. There are alternatives. You can, you know, make some, some decisions for yourself because life is too short to be unhappy. It really is. And so you got to make some, some real decisions. So that's it. That was part three. That is, I think this is the end of that whole series. Um, if you think I missed something, let me know in the comments. And if we got to have a part four, we got to have a part four. Don't forget to like, share, and um, subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Thank you.